Hey everybody, Technoli, and uh, this is the one. This is the little PC that you want to build for your wife. No, just kidding. This is a $250 Windows Office computer, and we're running tests on it today so you can see what's going on and see how well it does perform. All right, so here it is, just a little Intel Gold G5400 with this little MSI H310M. And uh, it's kind of amazing. It really is. There's our SSD. Simple build. Okay, let me show you what's going on. Today I've got this little cheap I would call it an office home computer. This is a Pentium Gold processor running Windows 10 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is the G5400, by the way, using onboard Intel graphics and a M.2 SSD hard drive. That's it. Simple build. Now, I'm going to go ahead and run this game. Now, don't laugh too hard. This is not the computer for your kids to play big serious games on. It's just not going to happen. As you can see, it's taking forever just to load the game. And then when it finally does load the game, it gets about 15 frames per second. So, that's kind of good, parents out there, because this is the computer that they'll actually do schoolwork on in the kitchen. Just kidding. So this is not your powerful computer for PC gaming, but it is a great computer for doing all your other stuff that you do day in and day out, right? So here it is. I'm getting a massive, oh, right now I'm getting 3.3 frames a second. So, enough of the silliness. All right, so we're going to quit this game. All right, now, I happen to have Photoshop running on here. And I thought, you know, I'm always wanting to edit like a little picture or something or, you know, do something in Photoshop. So what I did was I downloaded this. This is a half. This is a 491 kilobyte just picture, okay? And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to see what I can do with this and see if, you know, I can just do simple editing and things like that. And uh, yeah, you can. You can do things on this. Like, let's go over here and go to filter. I'm going to put a blur on it, okay? A motion blur. All right. It works. It reacts. No problems. Now, granted, this is a, you know, 500 kilobyte file, um, but you know, it'll do it'll do simple little tasks easily. Now, I'm going to leave this open, and I'm also going to go over here to the internet, and let's see, I'm going to go on Firefox. Okay, so I got this open, not now. And yes, I know my Windows is not activated. I'm just testing this computer, so don't get on me for that. All right, so I'm going to run this uh, GoPro video. This is a, you know, skiing video. Nice and smooth, no problems. All right, let's go ahead and fire up. Uh, let's see, I got Microsoft Office on here for you too, just to, just to run. You know, I say I want to do a. A word document real quick while I'm uh, I don't know listing the music so I'll just type away here and uh, you know no big deal now let's go ahead and open up uh, what else do I have on here I think I've got Excel on here oh here PowerPoint that's more that's a more uh, dramatic type of file to use so we can open up several things here. Let's go over here and open up another 
tab and go to YouTube. Let's run another video. Uh, let's just grab something. I don't care what it is. Um, here we go. All right, so I got one, two. I got these windows open. Now let's go and look at where we are on resources. Okay, so Firefox is using about 28%. I'm also doing a screen capture with Snagit on this while we're doing all this other stuff. Of course, the two uh, Office programs are doing nothing right now. But if I, uh, let's see if I do something with this photo, if it will, yeah, see there, it's starting to kick in and do something. Um, so, you know, it just, it just goes to show you that this, you know, a cheap little computer like this that you could build in your sleep. I mean, this computer would be so easy to build. And, you know, so inexpensive. You can put it in the kitchen, put a nice big monitor on it, spend your money on the monitor because the computer will do all your day's basic daily tasks, right? We still got these videos playing. Yep. So not bad. And only 8 gigabytes of RAM. So what do you think? You know, we did a Hackintosh on this, and I said no. I, I said it's just not, it just wasn't getting it. But for Windows 10, it's not bad at all. It really isn't. Because, you know, we're using onboard graphics. So let me know what you think in the description. I think it's definitely a fun little build to do. And uh, I got a list of all the parts and everything in the description below. So let me know your thoughts on it. All right. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you on the next one.